Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem from Code Forces problem name Mavolo Go on Drink. So Professor Dumbledore is helping Harry destroy the Horcrux and he went to Gaunt's shack as he suspected the Horcrux to be present there. So you can read the question statement and the question statement exactly states that the value of x is calculated to be the maximum of p of a of i q of a of j r of a of k where it's p q and r are given for an array and a to n is also given such that a i j is according to this condition such that i and j and k can be equal but i should be like less than or equal to j k should be greater than or equal to j and help snape find the value of x do not do not do note that the value of x may be negative good so you are given the length of the array and pqr so you want to find out the maximum possible value so this is a also a dynamic programming problem so whenever you find a dynamic programming problem always try to build a table and try to fill it for the first few values and the other problem thing you can do is always try to fill the problem from the start and build one by one okay this is the same problem but i have done just taken minus 2 here except for minus 1 to make it more clear and understand to you how the code works okay so this is actually the value of p okay this is the value of q and this is the value of r which is this this is not in the table exactly but i have written down here to make it more clear now just imagine what does this mean? So you can start from here and go till here. So it means that if there is only P present and there's only one A which is one. So what is the maximum possible value you can get? You can only just multiply them which is one. Okay. Now again fill this value. If I have only P value equal to one and I have, I have an array of size one and minus one. What is the maximum value you can get you can get one because you can if there is only one p and two elements you can choose any one of the element multiply it with p and get the answer so why do you multiply it with minus two and get the answer to be minus two except you can just multiply it with one and get it so it means for filling every value in this column what you can do is uh, take out the minimum value but how to fill this value so what you can do is you can initialize everything above it to be like you can number it from index it one and for the index zero you can make it minus infinity okay so for every element what you can do is you can take out the maximum value of whether i can multiply p with this number or take out the above element as same as for this i can whether take minus two which is minus 2 into 1 or I can take the above element which is 1 so the maximum is 1 now if we take 1 into 3 the maximum we can get is 3 and the above value is giving us 1 so we just take 3 and 4 and 5 so filling the first column is easy now just think we have two elements so if we have two elements like two values p and q and we have only one one only one element present both of them should take this value okay so if we take q into this value we will get this value which is 1 into q okay and what is the maximum value 1 into p which is stored here only as you can see so what we can do is and if we do not take this value so what we can do is if we do not take this value then the then the uh, maximum value will be above it as we have seen either we can take the above element or can take this element but because we are adding also p and q should be combined so same we will do for q but the we will find the maximum value of whether the above element or we can find out p into q plus this element because we are taking p and q at the same time i hope you understand so if you take p and q, q q's value is 2 if you multiply it with 1 it become 2 and if we add 1 which is this value it will become come out to be 3 
or else we can take the above value which is minus infinity so the maximum one is 3 now I can either do so it will be more clear now I can do 2 into minus 2 which is minus 2 and add this value which is 1 so it turns out to be minus 1 or I can do this value because I have find out this value and this is, this is acceptable I hope you understand because I have find out this value if I take all the p and q both to be 1 the answer will be 3 but this turns this value if I take p to be this and q to be this then the answer turns out to be minus 1 so it's turned out to be lesser so what we will do is we can take this value above value which is 3 now if I take 2 into 3 it's 6 6 plus 3 it's 9 or I can take 3 so it's 9 and same for everything it's 3 4 into 2 8 8 plus 4 it's 12 or it's 9 so I can take the maximum and so on so 2 5 to the 10 10 plus 5 15 and this turns out to be 30 if you calculate it right the it's 5 into 3 15 plus this value which is 15 so now for the last column also we'll do this the same we will find out the maximum which is 3 into this value plus this value or the top value which is minus infinity or it will change so the maximum value till now we can take all the value i j and k to be same and p q r is also given so we can easily find out the answer will be 6 and you can also fill this value so i hope you understand the logic let's move to the code now so i have made this vector because n is given i have made this with three columns this is a solve function in which n is given i have taken everything long long because we are actually adding everything as you can see and this can easily go out of bound so everything is long long now I have initialized the 0th value with a very large large value which is negative and now we will, we will initialize a vector we will store all the values of this okay now we will iterate over for the first column we can easily just find out which is the maximum of the top element and p into that value which is stored in the form and for all the other two column I will iterate over the other two column 1 and 2 and for, for every column we will iterate over from 0 to n and for finding out because I have filled out for the first because j is from 0 to n we have, have want to fill out the first index value because 0 is we know it's minus infinity so we will start filling from 1 so for a j plus 1 until i the maximum will be either the above element which is this if you minus 1 this the above element or this is this just means that for i equal to 1 we are in the column second and for i equal to 2 we are in the column uh, third so we have to multiply q and r accordingly and thus we multi multiply it with the v value and take out the left value so we will add the left value as you can see we are on the same row but on the left value and we multiply it with p or r and find the maximum of both of them and then the answer will be on the nth like nth column nth row and third column because the last value because in the last value we have taken out considered into all the three elements and all the three all the five vector values and that's the maximum we can get okay so i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye